In this video, I'm going to go over 25 design hacks and prompts that you can use today in ChatGPT's image generation process. So if you're a business owner, content creator, marketer, or designer, this video is for you. We're going to start at the very basics, then move into some creative implementations. Any of the prompts in this video I found on Twitter as you can see some of the examples right here. And I'm going to have a complete Google Sheet with every single idea and prompt presented in this video for free so you can implement them today. I wanna to give a huge shout out to everyone that came up with these ideas. They will be linked directly on the document below. Okay, so we're gonna start off super basic and the concept is very simple. You can give ChatGPT as many images as you want and instruct it to do something. So in this one we said, put this baseball cap on me and this is the response and the one thing you'll note is ChatGPT is good at a lot of things but rendering humans exactly how they look before it's a little bit inconsistent so you can tell this doesn't look exactly like me even though it has a lot of my characteristics uh, but this is the end result so doing something like this is obviously super important when it comes to e-commerce or generating more images of your product on people or in, in different circumstances so it's very valuable but I would highly recommend you do it on new people that you create so this one I just say a model I don't specify you could tell it looks a little bit weird how he's eating this hot dog with this background so I switch it up a little bit I specified a female and holding the hot dog and there you can see so this is a good product image if you're trying to sell the San Diego hat for example so this ties into the second skill that ChatGPT image is very good at, and that is making the background transparent. Now I use this in pretty much everything, so I can take these images and then edit them into a different platform. Here you can see we gave it the AG1, and we just simply said to make the background transparent. As you can see, it did a really good job. It's a little bit weird with the powder on the top. But then we went back to the first prompt and we said put this object in the hand of a man in a fancy modern kitchen who is smiling drinking a glass of green liquid and as you can see this is a great product image example for AG1 so you can make the object transparent and then you can also put it into a scene with a model that you want to use for a product shot. And on that note I actually used ChatGPT's ImageGen API the day after it came out to produce creatives that look that look like this and like this for AG1. So these are definitely possible with only one prompt. If that's something that's interesting to you, make sure to check out that video. I'll have the link in the description. And for the second hack, this one is pretty simple. You can tell ChatGPT to create a pattern out of an image that loops seamlessly. And we gave it this source image, and then this is the result image. And as you can see, you could use it for a background or anything in a creative. And on to the next. This example shows that you can create a pixel art illustration that can be animated itself. So here I gave it this basic prompt and as you can see it generated the pixel art with all the four frames. I then asked it to chop this into the four frames and animate it and this is the result that it had. So there's a lot going on here and many ways you could utilize this but this is just a completely different avenue of a type of content that you can create using the image generation. And on to the next. I use ChatGPT's image generation to create a lot of text for thumbnails and other places in my video. So here's an example of what you can describe and an example output of something it comes up with and then we could tweak it to change the colors, change the font, etc. So you can see I'm iterating through a few fonts here to create a good text for the thumbnail of this video. Here's another example where I had it create a graphic for my last video and that is the x.com slash mentor. Keep in mind this is a very simple prompt that I gave it and luckily it came out with this good design. Uh, the more detailed prompt you have the more strict and reliable it will be when you send it out but you can see here I'm not a graphic designer there's no way I could have created something this cool this quickly if it wasn't for the image generation on ChatGPT. And I've included even more prompts. So in this example we just did my name uh, but we did it with ice cubes and a puddle below. So you can see this this um, ad is pretty creative here. And then of course we did it with all the elements. So we also have the fire version and I decided to put a barbecue on the bottom. So this one looks pretty neat as well. And then we'll scroll down a little bit more. We have the grass plant one 
which is in a planter and I really like how this one turned out and then if we scroll down we also have the air version which is a little bit non-readable and I prefer the other ones but every time you generate it you'll come up with something new so there's no guarantee that one will be better or worse when you generate it yourself Another useful tool that you can use ChatGPT for is creating icons. So here I had it create a bunch of arrows and it's a little bit hard to see it transparent with the background so I made them white. So you can see if you need any assets really quickly you can just design them on ChatGPT and it's honestly easier than googling and trying to find good transparent versions in my opinion anyways. You can also ask it to do different things so these are icons for view counts that I often have in my thumbnail so this is another great example of some of the icons that you can generate. Those ones were pretty basic but you can make it even better. You can give it an example and in this one we gave it Airbnb's icons and we said create a party icon in this style. So you can see this icon is a lot more in-depth, three-dimensional, everything like that. Not only that, we can modify the icon once we have it. I said change the party hat to look like a RuneScape party hat, and if you played RuneScape, you know this is a really good rendition of how it changed it. So I'm pretty excited and happy to use ChatGPT to make icons. Another cool concept that you can do is this one. So I told it to design a square image of a landing page for a roofing company using these colors. You can adjust it for whatever kind of product or service you're marketing towards. And then you can see it created this um, landing page right here. And when we scroll down, I said I changed it then to make it landscape and you'll see why in a second. Uh, we have this as a landscape and by itself it's not super usable or anything, it's just a picture. Uh, of that but when we scroll down you'll see I said show this landing page design on a MacBook in a private office overlooking the New York skyline and here you see we can create it an image looking like someone is on their computer looking up this roofing company or you could change it with lawyers whatever you want uh, but you get the idea so this is a pretty powerful technique uh, that I thought could have a lot of use using ChatGPT so we're now into the video where we're talking more about templates. I found a lot of these on Twitter and a lot of them work with logos but you could also use it for a product or whatnot. So here is a pretty cool one and this is the turn this logo into a realistic chrome version and as you can see this is the output. It looks pretty amazing. Not only did we do it on the Instagram logo, I gave it the TikTok one and as you can see this is the final result for the TikTok logo. Here's another cool prompt I found on Twitter, and that is creating a surreal, minimalistic, future 3D advertisement for the product. So I gave it AirPods, and this is the result. And as you can see, this is basically a one-shot prompt. They created a really cool ad. Uh, there's a few minor details, like this AirPod not having a little stem. But other than that, I just love the concept and how easy it is to give it an object, and it gives you a great response. So we did it one more time and this time I gave it the Meta Ray-Ban glasses and you can see this one just turned out absolutely fabulous in my opinion. Okay, before I continue, the next one is one of my favorites, but I want to shout out my X, which is x.com slash mentor. Make sure to give that a follow. I've gotten a lot of follows since my last video, so I'm super happy. Thank you everyone for that. And then on there, I have pinned a Telegram group, and this is my breaking AI tools updates, where I update people every time a major software that I cover gets an update, or every time I post a video that I think is of high value. So make sure to, if you have an X, to follow me here, and if you have a Telegram, to join this group, and on to the next. Okay, here we have a pretty cool prompt. I'm going to zoom in so you can read it really quickly, and then I'm going to scroll down to the result. Okay, so this is the result, and this is a one-shot prompt. I thought it was amazing. It has the tagline at the top. It created this little sketch for these Pringles, and then you could put the logo at the bottom, and it's all very adjustable. You could give it your own product image. It knows Pringles because they're pretty popular, so I just refer to it there. Uh, you could give your own logo, and you can give it your own uh, tagline at the top. But you can see this is a pretty creative ad that it generated and I'm super happy with this one. Here we have another style. Now this one's a little bit more mysterious so 
I took this prompt and you just change the animal or the object to whatever you want and you can see we have a scary version of a T-Rex in the fog coming at you so I thought this was pretty cool I also tried it with a wolf as you can see another great rendering and then I gave it the Grim Reaper and that looks pretty cool too and then I scrolled down I gave it a shark you can see it doesn't look as menacing here so I gave it a little update and then boom so I thought this prompt was pretty cool too here's another interesting prompt this is the candle melting so we gave it the the praying emoji and you can see this is the candle that it came up with pretty cool here I also gave it the thumbs up and you can see here's another version so just another creative idea to go at ChatGPT. So now back to the logos. This time we gave it this prompt here, and that is the logo on a window in water. So I thought this was pretty cool. With the Apple logo, we also did the Microsoft logo. So this is the result. Also looks pretty incredible. Switching it up a little bit, this one is more like the toy figurine that went viral a few weeks ago. Uh, but here's the in-depth prompt and basically we, we can change the object to whatever we want so I made a sloth and as you can see it's pretty cute here and you can see the autonomy of it and then we switch it up one more time to frog and you can see the little frog rendering right there and actually we did it a third time and that is with the bear so I'll scroll down here actually created two I thought this prompt was pretty cool and it illustrates how you can make little toy versions out of products uh, or people or images and whatnot. I also thought this prompt was really really cool so this is the create a photorealistic 3d transparent render with in this case we gave it the Fanta logo, logo and it's filled with liquid based on the primary color so you could see this one looks just amazing and the person that actually made this on Twitter also animated it with Kling and it looked really good there too and scrolling down we also have one with the coca-cola and then to get the creative juices flowing we have a completely different idea and that is making this knit version which I'm not going to even try to pronounce the name uh, but it's right here and it'll be in the description so this is a skyline view essentially knit and it looks really cool and then we also have the park over here now this was taken from this tweet and this person was able to get a really cool version of the dune poster Jurassic Park some uh, band posters uh, I was getting a little bit of trouble trying to do these type of things because it kept on hitting me for copyright but usually there's a workaround uh, to make it happen here's another cool template gotten off Twitter and that is this mirror on a field scene so you see we can give it a little boy as one of the people looking at uh, a mirror of potentially his older self and you see the kind of creativity here uh, you could do for a potential brand not only do we have that, we also generated the little kitten looking at the mirror of a reflection of what it potentially sees in itself, which is the giant lion. So that's another cool example. And now to the final prompt. This is a cool one where it generates a business logo in the style of a neon plant underground. So you could see the first one we gave it is the Adidas logo. And you could see the resemblance, but it's not super apparent that it's Adidas. Uh, whereas we did it once again with Nike and keep in mind you could always regenerate these until you get a good result And that is the Nike logo in the seam that I thought was really cool Thank you so much for watching the video as I said before Please follow my x.com slash mentor and then the first link there and also in the description will be my telegram group Which is super important to join. Thank you so much. I hope you guys got value out of this video again all the prompts and hacks and ideas will be listed out in this document link in the description thank you guys and I'll see you guys later